a truly exciting moment. We're going to put the head on the block. I've been wanting to do this for absolutely ages, so this is the time to do it. So first things first, you have the um, ARP rods here. I've uh, bought the, the full set of 10, and uh, that comes with the uh, lubricant you're going to need. Um, also, the, the nuts and the washers. So, you'll notice there's two ends. One's the um, Allen key type, and one is just the solid rod. It also has this um, this raised bit here, which you can just about see. This is the bit that goes into the block. So, with the lubricant, you can just put a little bit on here. Okay. And just uh, look to smooth that in. Good. And just work it into the first hole. You shouldn't feel any resistance to this. A long way to go, but and then ARP mentions that it's just hand tight, and then that's it. Repeat for the other ten. So there's one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Next thing to do is these two dowels, so they're the same, they're M14 times 20. So these need to be placed in um, two locations. So this is the exhaust side. So one goes here. You notice there's a little chamfer on both edges. You just about see that. Just tap them in square. That's just been pushed in. And then this one. Right, the two dowels are in. It's time to put the head on the block. This is the moment of truth. So I've got the managed to get the dowels both in. Just check it goes right way through. All the sheets of the gasket. through all the sheets. You see it's just gone straight in. It's home, there should be no big gap around it. And finally the cylinder head is on the block. That's it. So next you can see I have the washer of which I have 10 in total and there's the um, arm head of the rod. To place it on I just place the screwdriver in there and you can see there have it sunk to the bottom and you need to do it 10 times with each of the washers of the 10 uh, rods. Do the head nuts up in three different steps. I'm going to start off at 40 foot-pounds, then 60, then 80. And that's equivalent of 
the first step being 54.23 newton meters. So just as before, we've got a small um, torque crunch, and this is a half inch socket, which is 12 sided. Don't be tempted to use um, a metric socket. Um, you actually have to use the half um, inch dry socket to buy a separate tool for this. Then we need to have uh, 54. Uh, 0.23 on the gauge so I'm going to start off here you can see I've got all the way up to 50 because I've got a zero in the same line as the, the 50 here and then I need four more so I simply just rotate it around it's 51 52 53 54 and then 0.2 is just about there that looks about right to me. Then just lock it off again. And then I can go through and torque these up. So the first thing I need to do is grab each of the nuts and turn. Get the assembly paste. Then just put a little bit on each nut. and drop each of them in and what we we'll want to do is just tighten each of them down not actually talking them up yet but just tighten them down into place on each of the uh, ten positions and then we'll begin the talking process it can be easier just use this little extension bar and then um, just tighten it up now it's time to torque down the head onto the block. For this I'm going to be using a torque wrench and the uh, half inch 12-sided um, star um, socket. And you can see it's half inch and it's on a 3 8 drive, it happens to be. Uh, this is what's required for ARP um, head nuts. This is the uh, torque wrench I'm going to be using. We need to do it in three steps, the first of which is uh, 40 foot pounds, so I'm going to I go in newton meters, so it's 54.23 newton meters. So here's the torque wrench starting off at um, 10 uh, newton meters, and I need to get to 50. So I start by increasing, and that's past 20, past uh, 30, 40. That's on 50. You can see that the um, the line of the zero is um, where the 50 is. Um, you can see at the bottom there's the line for the 50. So that's on 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. It's calling for 54.23. So that's a little way past. That's about right. And then I can um, lock that off with a knurled knob at the bottom. Just check that's right, which it is. And then there's a pattern here. Um, first off, I'm going to start off at the inlet side. So just drop the torque wrench down there. That's the first one. And then the exhaust side. Position number three on the inlet. Four on exhaust. Five on the inlet. And exhaust. Check that. And seven. 
Bunga. Then eight. Exhaust. Nine. I'm that. And finally ten. On the exhaust. The next step is 60 foot pounds, which is 81.35. So, this is on the uh, larger torque wrench. I have a step down from half to three eighths and extension to give me some more uh, room in there. And the same pattern remains. So, just doing smooth pulls on the torque wrench. That's the first position, the second. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Eight. Five. And then lastly, ten. The last step is eighty foot pounds, which is equivalent of one hundred eight point four seven newton meters. Now position one. Position two. Position three. Position four. Position five. Position six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And then finally ten. That's done. All talked up.